No money spent, episode seven. We got 2.1 million coins up there. We're going on a shopping spree. We're only an 81 overall. We got nothing but B&Ds in our team. We're upgrading big time today because I've been playing cut champs on, you know, my other no money spin account that's glitched, but I want to start playing it over here and getting these rewards. So we're going to make some big time upgrades today. We're going to go through the team. We're going to go through the catalog and I'm going to see who I want to upgrade. I missed the market crash because y'all know I'm in Australia. I'm never awake when that crap happens. It's like three, four in the morning. I'm too old to be up that early unless my kids are jumping on me like a trampoline. Nevertheless, we're going to upgrade the team today. I'm going to talk about some things I've already done because there's some upgrades I've already done, but I'm going to do a lot of those in the video here. So this is going to be a video of me upgrading my team. So hit the like button, drop us up. The next video we do, we'll probably do some cut champs gameplay or something of that nature. We will do that, but we're going to upgrade our team. We're going to upgrade our team on our no money spend. This is the account I've been grinding on. I've been putting in work, so it's time to reward myself. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No, I'm balling on Now, just quick before I get into the upgrades, this is the team that's presently constructed. I need to do the solos for Malik Neighbors. We will do that. We pulled Will Howard on our lever 40. BND pass. Obviously, you see we already have Devon, uh, Walker and Kobe Bryant. So we will get the other running back, um, Alex Singleton, out of that pack, and then we'll go there. But most of these guys are BNDs. They're all BNDs. So we are time we, it is time now to add some major mayor players that is going to help us out and become cut champs now i'm going to do this a bit different i'm going to go by promo by promo because each promo there are players i want to pick up first person you want to pick up i think the greatest budget user in the game now he was at 60k i think he's close up to like 80 now 75k eric kendris we need a user middle linebacker so we'll take that stick it with the ultimate alumni promo we got to get him. We got to get him. One of the best receivers in the game. On there, he says 110K. I think he's more like 115, I think. We'll get one for 106. Michael Evans, Texas A&M, a thorn in my side as an Alabama fan, but we need him on the squad. Now, stick with the ultimate alumni promo. Miles Garrett, I do want him. I know earlier in the market crash, he was 100K. I really don't want to play 140 for him, so we will come back. We will come back and revisit Miles Garrett. Never mind. I'm not going to come back and revisit Miles Garrett. 130K. Welcome the defensive player of the NFL to the team, Miles Garrett. Now, rounding off the ultimate alumni promos, we got to find Budget Beast. And Zion Childress, 83 speed. He's an absolute monster. He only has 89, 79 man, but we can boost that up and get it to an 80. Zion Childress, we're going to check and see what he's up for. 53K. We shall take that absolutely we need secondary players welcome to the shot squad just don't be like that zion in new orleans and eat everything but let's cook on to the in case you missed it promo there's only really one car we want out of here he's not the best but he was one of my favorite players in the nfl great dude watching him play todd Gurley. can we get him at a decent price we obviously cannot 100k for a running back is it the greatest is it the smartest probably not but we're gonna do it Psych, I lied. There is one more in case you missed it, player. I want to pick up this Dalen Everett. It was between him and Crandall. Um, everyone knows the Crandall, but this guy is 6'1, has buff above 80 zone and 80 man and 83 speed. 6'1 in a slot. Come on, bro. Let's see if you can make some plays for your boy. On to the conference story. I think we're gonna pick up three three balls from this program. We'll love to get Caleb Downs, Alabama legend. Thought about getting Ollie Gordon if his price dropped deep and um low enough because he, he quick sells for 175k and if you got like the 230 we were just going to take that now i run 335 um i also run some 61 so jonathan jefferson i feel like the one of the best budget rushers in the game if i could have got him earlier for like 64k um if i was on but i wasn't so we got to overpay and pay 80k for him but it is what it is at this point in time another budget beast from the in case you missed it promo bow frailer i've loved this card anytime i used it maybe if we can get him we're drastically overpaying this card because he usually goes for around 40k but this is what happens when you live on the other side of the world man you don't get the best prices and that's okay now to me pound for pound value for value king matt one of the best cards in the game why he has 85 speed again i'm gonna keep harping on this earlier bro was down to like 65k but I am getting a snipe at 80k, so I guess we'll take King Mac 
and try to make him happen. So we got King Mac on the squad. Desperately, desperately needed to add that speed to the team. Now, for talking about budget on defense, we got him. We got to go get the budget guy on offense. Again, missed out because he was down to under 100K. We're probably going to have to pay over 100K for him now. 113, a very, very steep price. But for 85 speed, we'll take that price because we're going to need that speed to pair with Mike Evans. Now, I believe our last upgrade of the video, I do want to pick up Ray Lewis. The smart thing is to wait till Ultimate Legend or a uh, Legend Sunday in cut just because he's 140k now last week i got him for 80k now the same thing could be said for this other guy but i'm not gonna wait be just because of the video we we're gonna pick him up brian erlacher i want to be different i don't see people using brian erlacher so i want to pick up brian erlacher 113k we may end up selling him back before legend sunday but we'll take him for 113k like i said we may sell him back for 115 and then i know he'll be 80k come sunday okay last upgrade we gotta make i actually thought we weren't gonna be able to we didn't have to get him but we do have to get him i know crandall's been a bane of a lot of people's existence but he still is a good car for budget users 83 speed 83 zone 83 man a little bit overpriced but we did all this upgrading for a million coin shopping spree let's go put him in the team and we'll see how we're rocking and this is the new and improved team i'm really really liking it we still have 1.1 million so i can probably still do more upgrades the reason why I'm not an 83 overall is my offensive line. They're all BND. My left, uh, Michael Ford is actually a right guard who's out of position. I really don't want to pay for offensive line. I know I can probably go get offensive line for like 40K, 84 overalls. I just don't want to. Until I see a hindrance on my offensive line, I won't do that. Now, I am going to wait to see if Jason Morrow gets back down to 100K. If Jason Morrow gets back down to 100K, I will replace him here. But this tight end's not bad. He's 6'6", 250 pounds, 83 speed vertical. And I actually got him from the level 38 pack. I pulled him in a free safety I will show later. But he's 83 speed. He's 6'6". He cooks. Now, receivers wise, Michael Evans. We got Jeremiah Smith. We got Will Howard. Now, I don't know. Let me know down below who are you going to choose when you get to level 50 and you're able to put one of these guys up to 89. I'm leaning towards Will Howard because the quarterback's the most important position. But also, I know Alex Singleton is there. And then you also have Kobe Bryant. We will see what other cards are available at that point in time. We did get Todd Gurley. I may side sell, sell Todd Gurley back and get Marshall Falk, depending on if Marshall Falk gets cheap for Legend Sunday. So I like the offense. I really, really do like the offense. I think we can compete, but we all know defense is what's matter, and it's non-existent in this game anyway. I really like our defense. A very, very budget defense, but we have fast players at positions that matter. King Mac, 85 speed. We also pulled Khalil Barnes along with the 85, um, the 83 speed tight end, but this guy is six foot 83 speed he may play he may not um but then also like i said we got erlacher and kendricks in the middle <clears throat> another guy i got from a bnd pack he's just there for an overall boost we put we got jc latham you guys can see us buying but i bought him early in the week for like 60k we got Bo frailer and zion childress here too two good safeties with 83 speed i mean again, not top end but very budget love our corners tj crandall dalen everett dalen everett's going to play the slot and we have kobe Bryant, and then obviously will johnson not the souped up will johnson but and then we have our defensive line i actually really really love so when i go to three down sets it's going to be Deion walker in the middle miles garrett and justin jonathan jefferson or if i'm feeling i need more speed miles garrett goes to the middle and jc latham goes to the outside when i go to a four down set those four will be uh garrett and walker in the inside jonathan jefferson and jc uh jamie marion i keep saying jc latham because of the tackle from last year the Latham there so let me know down below if there's anything y'all think I can improve on like I said I do still have 1.1 million I'm not trying to get below the 1 million coin mark because obviously I want to be able to flip cards and do different things like that and be active in the market um like I said the team's good enough now I think I can go into cut champs and maybe get 10 to 15 wins um obviously if I run against the Junkins and all of them I'm going to be cooked but that is what it is at the end of the day we're just going to have fun with it so I appreciate you boys I really really like the team um, like I said, I may sell Erlacher before Legend Sunday, but we shall see. So that's it. No Money Episode 7. Episode 8, we will have gameplay because I know y'all like gameplay. Even though the numbers don't show y'all like gameplay, I know y'all like seeing me run the gameplay. So we will do that. I'm out. Deuces.